Hello, beautiful Pisces. We're here to do a love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. But personal readings or contest rules. All right. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Pisces. Let's see what the energy is. Let's see. Pisces, you're feeling very playful, very amped up. You've got some Sagittarius energy. You're feeling as though you want to burst out, have some fun, do a little dance. Looks like you have someone that you care about. That is a Minor Arcana card of soulmates. You feel as though you might have found the one. The beautiful high priestess you're keeping this to yourself you're not telling your friends you're not talking about this with anyone you are using your intuition you're just following it you're being very discreet it appears that you may have met your person through work or collaboration of some sort let's see what we have in the heart space what's going on in your heart space here pisces what is going on in your heart space? That Two of Cups is beautiful. Linking, holding hands, feeling as though you're with the one. Nine of Cups, having fun, enjoying the time of your life. Eat, drink, be merry. I may have found the one. <laughs> one more cup here and we have the Ten of Cups. Now we have a happily ever after marriage. Pisces, and that's your energy. Welcome to your reading, Pisces. You have arrived. Let's see what the energy is. How you? How do you view this situation right now? I don't know why that wants to come out, but it does. Exactly that. Okay, so let's see how you view the situation. It's time to throw caution to the winds. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Cancerian, Cancerian. So you've got a lot of energy in that heart space, but you're also willing to take a risk. A risk on love. Oh, you want a big adventure. Look at this. Three of Wands. You feel as though you have met the person that you may spend the rest of your life with or have a long-term committed relationship. Spirit is saying to you, the advice of Spirit is that you love very deeply. Keep it quiet, you know, keep it to yourself. You don't have to talk about it. You can enjoy a very enriching experience just by feeling the feels. Ooh, this is beautiful Scorpio energy. Your outcome is leaving some baggage behind, leaving burdens behind, leaving a situation behind in which you probably left some sort of toxic relationship in which someone made you compete. Look at this, you have found your peacefulness, temperance energy, that is the energy. For those of you who might have broken up, somebody could be coming back, that would be a reconciliation. But this is you really coming, being at peace with a situation that looks like it was very tough for you and really being at peace with it, really being able to handle it, we have a beautiful guardian angel here protecting you from this devil energy. It does look like someone tries to manipulate you. Um, so we'll clarify that also. Okay. So let's see what your person is thinking of the situation. What does your person feel here, Pisces? Ooh, Queen of Cups. Cancerian love. Lots of good water energy. Water and fire, though, can make for an interesting combination. So while you're feeling very much like you want to have fun, your person is in their feels. Okay. And while you're both feeling this love, you're both moving away from a time in your lives that was rougher. So both of you may have appeared to have gone through a very rough situation. It's a shared experience, but it does not appear to be with one another. All right, so that's like when you're dating and you go, oh, that happened to me too. So I get this beautiful Capricorn queen here. Your person is very reliable and very intuitive. I believe that both of you feel very comfortable. This is Cancer and this is Capricorn on the astrology wheel. It's the first and seventh house. Turn it for both of you. You're the ideal match for the other. If you are a Capricorn or Cancer rising, look at that. All right, so the Three of Pentacles, why does your person see this as a very enriching and engaging Relationship equal give and take. Look at that. 
gorgeous energy. Your person feels like you're both in it to win it. You could have met at work or doing a project. Say if you were working in a community environment, you were raising food for, you know, working at a homeless shelter to serve food or something or a food bank. It really shows that, you know, in some way, formally or informally, you, you probably have done some projects together. We see this beautiful, both of you are checking up on, on each other on the internet. We get the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is looking, spying on you. <laughs> and happily so. They like what they see. Both of you are throwing caution to the winds. Your person views you as somebody who's very balanced. Libra energy. <gasps> happily ever after. Look at that. That's how your person views the situation. Nine of Cups to the Ten of Cups. Happiness, like this, your person's never been this happy before, and now they feel as though it's a really balanced, equal relationship, equal give and take, lots of love. We have the Queen and King of Cups here. We have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. All right, so we have the energy of the hanged man. Both of you are taking a wait-and-see attitude. You know, you're very proactive about, hey, I want to be with somebody with whom I share a love of certain activities. Um, you're very, very specific in terms of wanting someone who's active, wanting somebody who's left baggage behind. You definitely want a new, um, a new energy in your life that's very peaceful. So let's see what Spirit is recommending for your person here in terms of how they're bringing themselves to this relationship. What's the message for your person? To heal. All right. So I feel very much that both of you have had this shared experience from the Six of Swords into this energy. Both of you seem to have been with people who really weren't very balanced. You, it looks like you probably were in, you were both in a relationship in the past that, you know, you've closed out now. There's a cycle which is really good. It makes the two of you available to one another. Why is the devil card here, though? We don't like that devil so much. Okay. So it does appear that one person in this relationship probably left a relationship in which they were they were a third party. A third party could somehow come into play here as a toxic energy. But the two of you, your outcome is the temperance. These are clarifiers. So it means that the two of you together are very good. But you seem to both be very aware that you left a big burden behind and it does look like it was a mutual experience that you had respectively in your own lives. Yep, for both of you were probably married, I do think that. And what do we get as a burden here? This burden that both of you are leaving behind. Beautiful energy to drop that burden. Look at that. Oh, the Aries Queen. Strategically, in, in a very intelligent fashion, really embracing this beautiful new beginning with the Aries Queen. When you look at Pisces on the wheel, it's a natural ruler of the 12th house of difficulties, healing, secrets, and it looks as though you really step into this bold new energy of, you know, a new beginning with one another. They're making magic together. You know, she's holding this beautiful wand. It's almost like the magician card, except more grounded. So let's see what we have here. Let's look into this even further. Are there anything... What is it about this mixed energy? <laughs> How is it happening that your person could be so in love while you're feeling very sort of randy and playful? <laughs> Let's see what this energy is about. How does that work? Fire and water. Okay. Oh, your person wants to tell you something and you feel very strong. You feel that yes, even though you're not really necessarily ready to speak all about love with your person, they really are going to tell you how they feel, and you feel very good about it. The strength card's the infinity symbol, so it could be vice versa energy. Everybody knows who watches tarot. This could be you telling your person and them being very happy about it. We've got the Queen and King of Cups, okay. So why do we have the World card here? Good, closing out a cycle. Both of you have done that respectively in your lives. 
I see this as two people coming together for a new relationship uh, and having healed somewhat and left the past behind in something. Okay, Pisces, look at this. Pisces energy, hanged man. Just really kind of having fun. This is, is very Cirque du Soleil. You know, that looks like a really nice place to be. Reading the hieroglyphics and the, the signs and the symbols. Being, I think that you telepathically communicate. I feel as though just when you wonder what's happening to the other person, they text you. Why? Oh, look at this. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. All that beautiful energy. Aquarius energy, our new moon in Aquarius. Beautiful. Okay. So let's look and tell us something more, Spirit, about this equal give and take in this relationship. Tell us something about this. Tell us something about the energy for Pisces. There we go. Yeah, before, you know, you re neither of you really would accept a relationship that didn't have this. Both of you would be very reticent. You know, neither of you have any big expectations right now, but these are the things that you do notice about each other, even though you're not speaking about them, even though you're not acting about on them. It really shows that both of you are defending your right to be treated well in a relationship. That's normal when we leave something that's, you know, been ugly in the past. So why do we have this lovely Nine of Cups here for your partner? Why are they so inquisitive about you and why do you make them so happy? Well, look at there, Pisces. You are the Empress, Taurus energy. They see you as a total manifestation of everything beautiful. And with the world card up here, I also think that you might be from different countries, different cultures, different ethnicities, or different backgrounds. Your person just sees you, the pure manifestation of joy, happiness, beauty, everything that's lovely. They see you as a rock star. You see each other as a rock star in your, in your relationship at this time. Very spiritual, beautiful inside, beautiful outside. What is, why do we have the Page of Wands here? Let's tell us. Oh, <laughs> I love this. So while both of you are feeling very enthusiastic about leaving caution to the winds, Pisces, it also says that, you know, you feel safe with this person. With your person in the past, it was like, when pigs fly, throwing caution to the wind would be advisable. So we got this as a reversal. So, you know, you're throwing caution to the winds because you feel as though you can count on this person. They're balanced. You can count on each other. There's this beautiful, very reliable energy. Capricorn's reliable. You know, when you live happily ever after, that beautiful Pisces energy is a lifetime of happiness and joy with the justice card which is Libra balanced energy it does look like both of you probably were married before I would say that both of you left situations in which you were treated very badly or in a toxic relationship what is it about we have the look at we have the Pisces energy here you are you're here looking into the future and you're here the hidden energy too why do we have this this, this is really quite beautiful Whoa, let's, ooh, the sexy King of Wands. So it does look, you know, we have this beautiful King of Wands energy. We have the lion there. We have the half human, half lion. Um, we have this beautiful strength card. So it really speaks to a fifth house kind of connotation in your astrology chart. You might be very astrologically well linked in your partnership. Okay, let's see. Oops. Oh, and here we have, we have the Queen of Pentacles again, really sort of there protecting the relationship, kind of the mommy card. Okay, and why is Temperance here? The death card. Oh, good. So the death is on this. You know, when we look here, the death card is reinventing your life after a period of great difficulty. We really see you in a very balanced place. Temperance and Libra energy, very similar. Sagittarius, ninth house, which rules the law. And then when we get the seventh house, Libra energy, you know, it's all about balancing things out. I think this is really beautiful energy for you, Pisces. Beautiful reading. I wish you luck as you move forward in this relationship. So sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Take care, Pisces. Bye-bye.